Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we have episode number 10 of the Cardiff City career mode on FIFA 19. Thank you guys so much for the support on the recent episodes. Uh, like, like I say in every episode, I uh, really do appreciate the support. Um, moving on into double figures now in terms of episodes and uh, I did not mean to press that. Yeah, so today um, starting off uh, with a live little commentary thing so I've got a little uh, I've got something to do uh, on the career mode before I do play my games and then uh, post commentary it. So yeah, um, if you could leave a like on this video, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you could comment your thoughts on the video so far and the series so far, just to give me some feedback if you are enjoying it or not, or if there's things you need me to improve on, then please let me know because obviously it would be great to hear that. And also subs uh, subscribe if you are new around here. Um, we're closing in on 300 subscribers now. I think that's like I think we're free away as as I am making this video. So yeah, it would be greatly appreciated if you could do all those things. And yeah. Let's get on to the episode. What I wanted to do before I jump into this game against Arsenal away from home, as you can see, I'm going to quickly show you. We're 10th in the league, 23 games played, uh, 32 points. I'm pretty sure we've won 9, yeah, we've won 9, lost 9, drew 5. We've scored 37 goals and then we've conceded 38. I'm pretty sure that is the stat. Let's just check the top. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> we've scored and conceded quite a lot of goals. But um, what I wanted to do before um, I get into the uh, gameplay is go down to the youth scout and the youth system and actually sign, well not sign, but uh, hire a scout to um, uh, give us some youth players in. So I'm going to go over the one with the, five, the most expensive one, I guess. Um, I'm just going to put it in England again, uh, just because, you know, just a home homegrown... Uh, type. I'm just gonna do six months. Do I want to do six? Yeah, I'll do six months. And I don't really think I'm. I, I'm not gonna look for anything like that. I'm just gonna do any, so it shows me all of them. Uh, if I do six months, and then where's any gone? There we go. Six months. Hundred fourteen thousand uh, pounds. It's not that expensive for a youth um, uh, scalp. So yeah, I am. Um, it's gonna be set up now. Just because I want to bring in some youth players, and he's already sent me an email. Uh, obviously, he's setting up for six months on a um, yeah on a scouting network. So um, that's what I wanted to show you guys before. And then every time I get new players in, uh, in terms of the, the reports, then I will um, record that, show you who I get, and then if we sign any of them, then I will. If not, um, then yeah. So thank you guys for the support on the other videos. Like I said. Let's get into this episode with the first game against Arsenal. Right guys, we are jumping in to the game against Arsenal here. Um, we're actually away from home against... Um, uh, no, sorry. Um, not against... Um, <laughs> I was going to say against Cardiff then, but we're Cardiff. So yeah, we're playing against Arsenal right now, uh, away from the Emirates. Um, obviously, I already pre-recorded the um, intro. Uh, I just wanted to add on top of the intro, thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. Um, it really means a lot to me to get over that goal. I, it's just come out of nowhere, really. I started posting properly in like the past month or so, and I've gone from like 120 subscribers to like 300 within like a month and a bit, and it's just mad. So I am really appreciative of that. And we're also about to hit 20k views on the channel, which is just crazy I, that, that's a lot of people to watch like a lot of views like, that's a lot of people watching the videos you know so uh, i really appreciate that um next goal 30k views on the channel and probably 400 subscribers is like the basic way to go with but yeah really happy with how the channel's going and i'm really thankful for all the support i get on these videos and obviously the cardiff one is doing very very well um, I also want to add um, before I start talking about the highlights is that I actually want to start a Road to Glory career mode. Now, if you guys uh, would be interested in seeing that, obviously it would be this one would probably be like maybe one episode or two episodes a week, and then I'd continue to do um, the Cardiff and Wolfsburg like uh, rotational every day, so like Cardiff one day, then Wolfsburg the other day. So if you want me to do like an English League Two Road to Glory or Bundesliga League Three then comment down below, tell me what teams, tell me what leagues, and yeah, that would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, we're getting in on the, the, into the episode now. I've rambled on enough um, with that intro, and then obviously the intro at the start of the video, which you did see about me investing in the youth players. Now, we do go 1-0 down against Arsenal, but we do indeed 
drag one back in the 26th minute with Kamarasa, the centre mid, break it on in into that um, into the box there. It was actually quite lucky. I think the keeper touched it onto the post. Um, so yeah, we got quite lucky. Oh no, it was Rouse. I apologise. Not Kamarasa. I remember I rotated the team around a little bit. Okay, yeah, anyway, Raul scores. Nice goal, to be fair, even though I think the keeper did push it onto the post and then it bounced back in off the post. So, yeah, we got a bit lucky there. Shocking defending from us here, lads. And, yeah, we do go down again, 2-1 to Arsenal now. Ozil he got in the nice nice bit of space with, um, I think that was El Nani, maybe? Anyway, shocking from us. And here we get a chance here. Mendes Lang just can't squeeze underneath um, Leno, the keeper there. Um, really unlucky not to score in that sense. And we do get a corner. The ball was not a great ball. Um, Ampadu gets the ball, plays it to Origi. He holds the ball up really well, gives it into Reed. He takes a shot. It blocks off Socrates. And uh, Leno can't keep it in, so it actually goes up for a corner. Now, we do whip the ball in towards the front post. I thought I was going to get it there with, um, I think that was Origi. Uh, but unfortunately, the keeper did uh, come out and punch it. It did come all the way out to Mendes Lang. And then I played it back to the right back who cut inside. Nice little pass to Patterson. Patterson down to Murphy. He tries to cut it inside. Missed it. Or missed it. And then uh, ends up with Bennett. Back to Murphy. Murphy into Patterson. Lays it off to Reed. Reed with the shot. And Leno saves it. So, unfortunately, we couldn't really get much going there. We had a few decent chances, but we just couldn't finish our dinner, to be honest. Anyway, Rigi to Murphy. Cuts inside. And again, nearly gave away a penalty there um, on Rigi. It could have been a pen. Um, but we do get a chance here of Rigi again. Blocked for a corner, unfortunately for us. Oh, fortunately for us in a way, because we're getting a corner. Rouse does get a booking for a, a previous tackle. I'm not sure what that was. Anyway, ball gets it within. Mendes Lang in two. Um, I think that was Morris in the centre-back there. Drills it onto the crossbar, and it just goes straight into the goal off the crossbar. Now, the goal line te technology, yeah, it, it showed it here, right? Okay, so it's hit the crossbar, bounced down, and they've paused it on this bit where it says goal. But if you look at that, that's not a goal. But then look what they do. Look what they do. Wait for it. Boom. Why pause it when it's on the line and say goal when you're gonna just going to show me what happens after anyway? So yeah, don't really get that. But anyway, a goal's a goal. 2-2 two, two now. Here you can see me. I do make some changes. Demoru um, comes on and Tomlin comes on as well. I think Rouse and Loftus Cheek come off because they're both tired and one's on a yellow card. So I didn't want him to get uh, any suspensions or anything like that. So um, we move on in. Not a great shot from Merzel there, to be honest. Um, could have done better at that, but hope, uh, thankfully for us, uh, for us, he um, put it wide. Anyway, nice ball into Aubameyang, plays it into Mkhitaryan, and oh, it is just frustrating. He drills that into the middle of the net, um, and yeah, oh, 80th minute. I thought this game was going to be one for us, you know. We get a chance there. It's weak from Reed, you know. It's just annoying because I really did think we had a chance to win this game, and... Yeah, we ended up bottling it in the like latter stages of the game and Arsenal go 3-2 up and we give a free kick away in the last minute of the game. So our chances of getting a counter-attack are very, very, very slim. Uh, the ball gets played in, not a great delivery. Ampadu tries to clear it here. Mendes Lang on the ball. Tried to set up a counter-attack, but unfortunately that was that. Moving on into the next game, which is a home game against Bournemouth. And um, yeah, we're, we're, looking, we're looking to try and get something from this game uh, after that um, un unlucky defeat against Arsenal you could say and um, yeah great chance from Narsen he's starting off there lads um, here um, <clears throat> Brakello, he he's actually in the Wolfsburg team in the Wolfsburg career mode getting on, on net there misses it skies it Narsing, another chance saved again from Begovic the ball's not gone yet though Harry Arter on the ball lays it across or tries to let it across to um, Camarasa not a great pass from Harry Arter um, and they do set off on their counter attack really nice ball from Brakello there down to King great tackle um, from I think that was Cunningham the left back I do believe Harry Arter, I don't know why he waited for the ball, and Bamba's just got sold from Josh King there, and it's a great finish from Josh King. Unfortunately, I was just messing around with the ball of Harry Arter. Oh, voice crack, that was bad. Anyway, moving on to the 29th minute. We have gone one down, like I said. I was messing around with Harry Arter. I don't know why I was just trying to, did you know? Anyway, Hoyler, one-on-one, -on -one, near enough. He misses. He misses a chance to put us back in on level terms. And I just don't get it. Anyway, Harry Arter 
plays into Origi, Origi into Loftus Cheek, he holds the ball off really well, into Origi, first time finish, and he I just uh, I did not expect this to go in. I just kicked it and it hoped for the best. And um it's just drilled in to the bottom corner and um, really nice finish from Origi um to go um back on level terms. I just look look at the angle, it's a quality finish from Origi. Really, really nice finish. Thirty seventh minute. Moving on into second half of the game. Um we do Start with um, Bournemouth pressing us really well. Um, ball puts in, Brickello missed my slide tackle, and King, of all people, again, scores 2-1 to Bournemouth. Not a great start for the second half for us. And again, not even a minute or two after this, they've gone down the line, uh, back in sort of Stanislas, drills it straight in the top corner, roof of the net, and I just don't get it. We were 1-1 one, one up, it was 1-1, one, one, sorry, and within five minutes of the game, it's literally 3-1 to Bournemouth. I just don't get it. Ultimate difficulty is so cruel sometimes when, when on career mode. It's just a joke. Anyway, King has the ball again. He's on the hat-trick. Plays it to Lamina. Great tackle from Camarasa. Um, they do get thrown from that. Lamina picks up again. Back to Smith. Smith into Lamina. Lamina to Stanislas. Holds the ball up really well. Um, drives on into the middle of the park. No one really did anything about it there. And yeah, Brokello, of all people. The Wolfsburg man has scored against us. It's now 4-1. I've had to bring Bobby Reed on for um, Origi just to try and give some pace up top because this is just an absolute disaster of a game. 60th minute and it's already 4-1 to Bournemouth at, at home as well. Uh, we get the ball corner, whipped in, boom, we get one back. Patterson with the flick on over the keeper into the top corner, picks the ball up. Now can we make the greatest comeback of all time on this series? 62nd minute, we get a goal and our next chance is with Hoylett. Um, cuts inside brilliantly, 72nd minute, boom, hits the post. But we do actually manage to get the free kick which was pulled back and I brought on Mendes Lang because I thought he could offer some a bit of pace and strength up top because Narsing was quite tired. Lay the ball off, Harry Arta smashes it, great save from Begovic, again, straight out for a corner. Can we capitalise on this? 73rd minute now, we've still got plenty of time, heads it, skims the bar and goes over literally skims and bounces off the crossbar and we're into the 92nd minute now lads still 4-2 no sight of us coming back Loftus Cheeks on the ball gives it into Mendes Lang uh, Bobby Reed sorry he gets tackled and unfortunately that is it for that game we do take a really bad loss against Bournemouth 4-2 um you know it's one of those games where that like I say for most games that like uh coming up against teams like Bournemouth they're must win games for us with Cardiff because you know if we lose for like three or four games in a row like them, we could be back down in like the bottom, like severe bottom half. I'm talking about like 15th to 20th, you know. But uh, gladly, it hasn't actually come to that at the stage of the season. We're just floating around the 10th and 11th spot at the moment. Shock and pass there in the middle of the park. They somehow get in. Danny Ings on the ball. Mercs me with, um, uh, I think that was... Who was that? The Corey, the centre back, and he just drills in the top corner. The keeper even got a touch to it, which is the annoying thing, and it just goes out. And I just, oh, it's just so annoying. Anyway, Hoy, look, get nice ball into Loftus Cheek. He's one on one. Stops, shoots, misses. Narsing smashes the post with an open goal. How's he missing from there? How? He can tire his laces up all he wants. How's he missing from there? How? Anyway, 14th minute now. <clears throat> Loft his cheek on the ball, thinks it over to Origi. What am I going to do here? I'm an idiot and I pass the ball to Narsing who's clearly offside. He scores a great goal into the top corner, but it doesn't matter because he's offside. Anyway, um, Cunningham picks up the ball from a loose cross. Um, we'll play it out from the back. Really nice football here, one touch passing. Loft his cheek into Origi, into Narsing. He drives on through. He basically one on one, one on one. Can he finish? Yes, he can. Into that bottom corner. Narsing, really nice finish. Um, to make it 1-1 away from Southampton. Like I said before, as with Bournemouth, this is a must-win game if we want to push on. Anyway, Loftus-Cheek, I just don't know what he was doing. He just held the ball. Uh, he just missed the ball for so long. And then he just completely scuffs it into the side netting. Um, Narsing here into Loftus-Cheek. Um, plays the ball over to Origi. Into, or he tries to play it to Hoyler. Uh, gets tackled. But we do win the ball back with Origi. Falls to Loftus-Cheek. And what a goal that is. Straight into the top corner. Um, I hit it first time with a finesse shot. <clears throat> thinking it was going to go round the defender and go top right corner. Next thing you know, he's, he's gone for the top left. Look, I thought it was going to go round the defender, top right. But no, it went top left. And what a finish that is from Loftus-Cheek. 
to make it 2-1 to Cardiff City away from home. Last 10 minutes of the game, boys. Um, uh, luckily enough, the cross over the back line was terrible, and uh, the keeper just picks it up. Waste a bit of time. Cunningham, great ball down to Hoyler on the wing. Cuts inside to Loftus-Cheek. He attempts the ball back to Hoyler, who is successful. Goes to cut it across. Um, cuts inside, whips it back to stick. Narsing is there. Can he finish? No. Good save from the keeper. Um, wasn't a great effort on goal, to be honest. Um, Southampton pushing on last minute of the game. Whips the ball across, and the Corey is there with a nice little flick on. And that is that for this game, lads. Um, closing in on the last minute of the game. This is going to be the end of the episode. If you did really enjoy the video or you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. And it shows you that it shows me that you've enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!